this university and its growth and its excellence is what made this all possible. The OVC Belmont Bruins are dancing for the fourth year in a row. Belmont wins the OVC Women's Volleyball Championship. But it is, does say welcome, doesn't it? And welcome to another great day in the life of Belmont University, even though it's a very cold day. Please join me in a, a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity you continue to give us to be a part of and be involved in this student-centered Christian community that we call Belmont University. And we ask that you would Continue to guide us, Father, as we strive to live out the mission and vision of Belmont. And may we always do it to your glory. It's in Christ's name that we ask these things. Amen. Amen. Before I turn it over to our wonderful president, Bob Fisher, there are a couple of people I want to recognize. We have uh, fellow trustee Randy Smith. He's also a graduate of Belmont University many years ago. <laughs> like me. I'm not a graduate, but many years ago graduated from college. And we have a young lady here who I think began her tenure at Belmont University when she was, she had to be only 10 years old because she's been doing it for 52 years. Betty Wiseman started the women's basketball program here and she has, while she officially retired, uh, I think seven years ago, she's never left the campus. We can't get her to leave, and we don't want her to. Betty, thank you for all you do and all you mean to Belmont University. Appreciate it. Very much. And if I missed anyone, I apologize. I want to turn it over to Bob now. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Marty, and I had my uh, excitement to see Betty here uh, today, and, and certainly Randy as well. It's good to see all of you. Uh, this is a really fun part of my job, to be able to do things like this and to uh, celebrate all the success and excellence here at Belmont. Um, today's announcement is really the result of us needing to invest in the success and the commitment of our athletic leadership team, uh, of our coaches who not only are highly competent, but their ethical behavior and their leadership skills and their commitment to their students is, is really, uh, uh, really special. But most of all, uh, not to slight them at all, but they would say the same thing, I believe. Most of all, uh, what we're doing today is the result of the student athletes at Belmont over the years. Um, they deserve the kind of investment that we're making in them. Uh, they have proved it over and over again with all sorts of, uh, in all sorts of ways. Um, this is a result of, for you student athletes, and I see you scattered around the, the room, um, this is a result of the people that went before you. Uh, you need to remember that. Um, it's, it's their legacy that's caused this to happen today. But it's your, it's your time now, it's your present that we're celebrating too. And we're so proud of what you're doing and what you will do here at Belmont, all of you. But it's also uh, a gift to the future and all you're making it possible for the people that come behind you to even have a, compete at a higher level than, than we've done before and to have the facilities to do that. So I just want to say to the student athletes here today, uh, this, is, this is because of you. You, you did this. And uh, you did it through your academic excellence. 
um, I was sent like a 12 page list of things. <laughs> uh, I hope everybody here knows the commitment that Belmont has made to academics in our athletic program over the years. We've been in a, a Division I conference for 18 years. 16 of those years, we've won the academic trophy, meaning all student athletes together uh, had the highest GPA in our conference. I'm not going to go into any detail. The two years we didn't, it was a bit strange that one of our competitors had 72 people enrolled in their cross country program, all who had GPAs above 3.0. Uh, but hey, whatever. Uh, <laughs> we found a way to limit it to like how many can actually compete in me. But that's, that's old news. I mean, this, guys don't run that, please. <laughs> There's a headline. Uh, <laughs> But 16 out of 18 years, I'm really proud of that. Uh, we've won the conference academic trophy every year since we've been in the Ohio Valley Conference. Uh, this year's GPA for all athletes in the whole department was 3.433. Across the board, 3.433. Now I always say Belmont's too easy, but that's still good, even in an easy environment, right, guys? You're not laughing. <laughs> okay, it's not easy. And in, in a, all, all sorts of academic disciplines, they performed at the highest levels of this. And, and it's just incredible. Um, last year, when both our men and women's basketball teams uh, were competing in the NCAA tournament, Inside Higher Education puts out a bracket of all the teams and then compares, you, you just go bracket by bracket, game by game with comparisons of the academic progress rate and GPA. And they, you go up against Duke in the first round and, or whoever, and you win. And, and you have a better GPA or academic progress. And you keep going until you get to the championship round. Last year out of 64, actually more than 64, 68 teams, uh, both of our teams made the championship game, the championship bracket. The down, and the women, uh, I forgot who it was, but we'll get them this year. Uh, <laughs> and the men were the champions. Uh, and that's not the first time that's happened. Uh, that's happened before. and. When you just stop and do that comparison of, of not just our, our competitiveness on the court, but also our academic achievements. And, and when you look at the performance of our students on the field and their sportsmanship and their class and their ethical standards, I, I just couldn't be more proud to be uh, at Belmont and to have these students representing us. Uh, honestly, in, in 18, 19, 20 years here, have never been embarrassed by the performance of our students on the court. I just haven't. Uh, and I'm so proud of, of what you do, and that's, that's who we are. So what we're doing today is to celebrate that. It's to make a statement that nice guys and nice gals do get nice things, and they do finish first. And so we're here today to uh, celebrate uh, uh, some something that Bruiser's not here yet, right? But, but we've got some cheerleaders and we've got some coaches that have been that they're going to be a part of this. Um, we're here today to celebrate uh, an investment in the future of our students, and so let's flip those uh, boards around and look at what we're going to we're going to build something. Guess what? We're going to build a 45,000 square foot practice facility. Uh, as you can see, it has two courts for volleyball and for men and women's basketball. We've already announced our new tennis courts to be on top of the garage, and so there will be a tennis 
uh, dressing area and men and women's tennis will also be a part of this whole mix of facilities. And I think uh, once it's done, you're just going to be so proud uh, to, to see that. <coughs> I'm not, I'm, uh, this is not a Rick Bird moment for me. <coughs> it's just a, a, something's wrong with my throat. Okay. <laughs> of course, Rick, are you here? Forgive me. Um, but uh, it, it probably ought to be, though, because again, I'm so proud of what you've done and proud of how you have made this possible. And I want to call on Scott Corley, our athletic director, to talk a little more about what we've done here. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Fisher, and thank you, Marty. It's, it's always great that we can continue to do these, and Marty gets to say it's another great day in Belmont uh, history. So, and it truly is. What an exciting. I mean, these are beautiful renderings. And, uh, you know, as I was uh, thinking about kind of the word to describe how athletics is feeling today, obviously you go to exciting, historic, transformational, but the word that, get, that kept coming to my mind was just grateful. Athletics is grateful to be part of Belmont University, to be part of a vibrant university that's growing and is continually striving to give all of our students the best facilities and environment to learn and grow. Um, we're grateful for Dr. Fisher, for senior leadership, and for the board that they continue to invest and understand the value that a successful athletic program can have in the life of a university. Uh, what Dr. Fisher said, I'm grateful for every former coach, former player, uh, current players, current coaches, all that have put in the blood, sweat, and tears to help our programs be successful on and off the court. Uh, I'm grateful for all that they've done to get us to this point. And, and lastly, and certainly not least, I am grateful for all our fans, for all our sponsors, for all our donors, and most importantly for all the students that come out and support us. I mean, we are in this together and we can't do it without all, all people working together for the common good. And so just really, really grateful is the word I describe today. So what does this facility mean for us and what is it, what is it gonna do? And obviously I think everybody in the room knows in Division I uh, athletics, there's a continual need to invest in facilities to make sure you can remain competitive in recruiting. Uh, which is a lifeblood of, of all the programs. And so, needless to say, from a recruiting standpoint, this announcement today sends a message to all the recruits, all the parents of the recruits, that Belmont's committed to keeping our programs, uh, keeping them competitive at a high level, and we're in it to win championships. And so, you know, when our coaches can bring a recruit now, with all the wonderful things that the university provides, the city of Nashville, et cetera, and then you walk them through this facility, they're gonna have an amazing story to sell, which should allow us to, to get the recruits that we want. Uh, the other big factor, I think, just player development. Uh, you know, for the first time to have a dedicated space that's solely uh, gonna be able to be used by the, the players of these programs uh, from strength and conditioning to just the ability to get on the court and get up some extra shots or extra exercises, things like that. That's going to be transformational. It's going to continue to push this, this program together, uh, sorry, forward. Um, so in closing, I do want to say, you know, this is such an exciting time um, for Belmont, for Belmont Athletics. We are truly feel blessed to have the support of the leadership of this university. Um, but our goal doesn't didn't change today versus what it was yesterday. And our goal, and I think our student athletes embrace it, and that is we want to be the best ambassadors for Belmont University. And that won't change. Our standard of excellence in the classroom and outside the classroom won't change. And that's something we're extremely proud of. So um, I now get the great opportunity to introduce uh, Connelly Chin. Connelly is a women's basketball player. She's a redshirt sophomore uh, from Jackson, Mississippi. But in addition to being a, a great basketball player, um, Connelly is, uh, is great in the classroom. She's, uh, she's in pre-med, you know, pretty easy path to go there, right? And uh, aspires to be a surgeon. And I, I realize why it's so easy for us. Yeah. Uh, we're <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's exactly right. But uh, in Con I'll probably embarrass Connelly here, but 
kind of exemplifying the academic excellence. Connelly, with that difficult track, she is a 4.0 student, and so we're extremely proud of her. So with that, Connelly Chin. Hi. Uh, first and foremost, I just want to say thank you to Dr. Fisher and our senior leadership. Uh, and Mr. Corley said it all. We're just we're so grateful. Um, being a student athlete here has been such a special experience for me. And I can honestly say that anytime someone asks me why I'm here, I say the people. And I really mean it. Like the love, support, and the investment y'all place in us, it's, it's something truly breathtaking and just something I'll never take for granted. So thank you so much. Um, this is such a great way to celebrate the program, the program's history, and like what's expected of us and what can be accomplished in the future. And it's, it's going to benef benefit us in so many ways with uh, practice scheduling and scheduling classes around practice. I know that's something we all love to do as student athletes. Um, and then the locker room, it just, it's beautiful looking at it. And I can't tell you how excited I am and how grateful I am. And go Bruins. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, and uh, thank you also to the press who is here today. We appreciate your presence. Uh, we have a lot of folks who will be available if you want to, coaches, ADs, and others, if you want to talk with them one-on-one. -on -one. Again, thanks, everyone, for being here. Uh, Greg, did I forget anything? You got it. Got it. I nailed it. <laughs> Say you nailed it. No. Uh, it's good. All right. Hey, here we are. In honor of Adam Kunkel. All right, here we go. <laughs> and Nick Hopkins. And <laughs> Thank you.